Online shopping is trendy nowadays because it is convenient and fast, but on the other hand, it causes a wasteful use of packaging, it is more of a waste generation, such plastic bags, boxes, scotch tape, plastic bubble are used in various packages, increased accumulation in the garbage pit, and this waste takes a long time to decompose. Next, the water hyacinth problem that arose in Thailand has increased to become a problem that impedes traffic on the river and canal. Therefore, there must be a high cost for disposal. The properties of water hyacinth fiber is a type of natural cellulose fiber. The nature of the fibers is relatively coarse. The fibers are composed of tiny hollow fibers that are attached. It has the properties of natural fibers that are porous like sponges, good hygroscopicity, and lightweight. They can be processed from water hyacinth fibers into yarn, bags, animal feed, etc. Natural package cushioning is a good shock absorber and prevents the damage during the delivery. Water hyacinth has a sponge tissue in its stocks, so it can protect your products from physical shock, reduce costs, and shorten the delivery time for online orders. Moreover, this product does not cause pollution and waste. It is biodegradable and eco-friendly. Do you have a guess? What I want to do? Best gut web or fertilizer? I would like to present is the water hyacinth package cushioning. My motivation is to develop hyacinth dampers to have unique properties for increased performance. Normally the production process of water hyacinth cushioning has only three steps of the process, hyacinth harvesting. Then washed, cleaned, cut into pieces, and then dried in the sun for three, five days can be used. I think the hyacinth cushion performance is not enough, because if moisture or contact with water occurs with hyacinth shockproof, it will cause mold, and cause damage to the items in the parcel box. I should bring technology superhydrophobic can be applied by the coating of the water hyacinth cushioning and extend the period of use. So a hydrophobic surface is a surface where if you were to put a water droplet on it, it'll beat up. So if you think about um, when you've just waxed your car, water will beat up and kind of roll away. But to create a super hydrophobic surface, you want it to beat up even more. But you can't just do that with a coating like Teflon or a wax. You have to actually put a structure on it. In nature, lotus leaves do this really well. So if you ever look at water beaded up on a lotus leaf, it almost looks like a completely round ball. So what we do in the lab is similar to what we observe on the lotus leaf. We have these structures and we have water sitting on top of them. Super hydrophobic surfaces can be created in a multitude of different ways. What we're seeing is a drop of water falling onto one of these surfaces. As it falls, you can see it starts to spread out as you expect a drop to, but then it starts coming back together. This time is an interviews with targeted users about their experiences. For the first question, uh, I am going to say that in my opinion, I think consumers always expect a safe wrap, so that make plastic waste such as bags, plastic boxes, plastic chalk, various after being used and removed, so the end wouldn't be rather than a trash can. It can also increase the amount of product, therefore, the cushioning of water hyacinth can absorb the impact. There is no mold that will affect the product delivered. Reduced packaging time is also environmentally friendly. I have an opinion that the cushioning from water hyacinth uses. It will save a lot of time when packaging the product. The price are not much different from where we have to buy plastic bubble a little cheaper. I thought it would be better to switch to cushioning from water hyacinth because it can help reduce the amount of plastic waste. In addition, using the water hyacinth cushioning pack, the product can make customers feel that the seller care about the environment. Thank you.